around 150 kilometers west of Port Maputo, South Africa, the remains of a huge metropolis can be found. An ancient site measuring an astonishing 1,500 square kilometers in size, suspected by some to in fact once have been part of an even larger civilization, estimated by some to have been around 10,000 square kilometers in size and constructed 160,000 to 200,000 years ago. The region is somewhat remote and the stone circle remnants were only ever encountered by local farmers who assumed they were made by some indigenous people within the past. Amazingly, or rather conveniently, modern archaeology has seemingly forgotten to investigate this amazing place. Fortunately, this all changed when researcher and author Michael Tellinger, in association with Johann Heiner, a local fireman and pilot who had actually been looking at these ancient ruins for years, decided to investigate. Heiner had the unique opportunity to see these incredible structures from the air and knew that their significance was undoubtedly not appreciated. Quote, when Johann first introduced me to the ancient stone ruins of southern Africa, he had no idea of the incredible discoveries we would make in the following years. The photographs, artifacts and evidence we accumulated all point towards a lost civilization that precede all others, not for a few hundred years or a few thousand, but many thousands of years." End quote. According to Tellinger, these discoveries are so incredible that they will require a complete paradigm shift in how we view our human history. Quote, I see myself as someone quite open-minded, but I admit that it took me over a year to figure it out, and I realize that we are actually dealing with the oldest structures ever built by man on Earth. We have been taught that no ancient civilization of significance ever existed within South Africa. Powerful civilizations all emerged in Sumeria and Egypt and other places, Michael Tellinger stated. Regardless of what certain individuals claim regarding the age and indeed size of this site, it is certainly of historical significance, going against all currently upheld understandings of the timelines regarding ancient civilizations within South Africa. As Dan Eden from ViewZone put it, quote, I would suggest that the Sumerian story was given as a base metaphor for actual ancient cataclysms that caused the diminished planetary resonance and a spiritual injury to the psychoacoustic field of human consciousness. He continued, The tablets of Sumer describe the Anunnaki as a race of extraterrestrial beings who enslaved humanity for the purpose of exploiting our gold for protective use in the atmosphere of their home planet. I understand the Sumerian mythology as a metaphor for the cataclysmic changes that occurred in the deep human past, which offset the psychoacoustic balance of human consciousness." End quote. 